The 2000s were filled with pop stars who seemed to be destined for a bigger career, even if the career were to be regulated to a radio party pop artist. While many acts were able to build huge careers out of the dance music craze of the thousands, many got lost in the shuffle. Cat DeLuna was one of them. Cat DeLuna seemed to be one of the music industry's first answers to the success of Rihanna. In 2007, after being signed to Epic Records, DeLuna fluttered onto the charts at the tender age of 19, with her dancehall-tinged debut single, Wine Up. It was accompanied with a feature from Jamaican artist Elephant Man. Wine Up seemed to be a song engineered for radio domination for that time period, a super repetitive chorus, by the book's production, with a general call to dance. It's a formula many popular songs had during that time, and it benefited Cat by becoming her most successful single, and her only song to enter the Hot 100, peaking at number 29. It would also lend her a Latin Billboard Award, for her debut album titled Nine Lives, a then unknown producer named Red One would produce most of her album. He is now most famously known for his work with Lady Gaga. Nine Lives was a collection of the many popular radio stylings during that time period, a collection of R&B, Latin, and dancehall pop music. Unfortunately, the album failed to have another hit in the USA, and failed to build substantial momentum, selling just 11,000 copies within its first week. Although one of the many singles titled Run the Show would eventually find its way to becoming a moderately well-received song in some international territories, she never recaptured or built upon her wind-up success, but she did try. After the lackluster success of her debut album, and what seemed to be limited promotion of many of her singles, she was dropped from Epic Records. I'm excited to step into a new phase of my career, DeLuna said in a statement concerning her split with Epic. As a young artist, I'm always looking for innovative ways to expand my opportunities, from recording to performing, and I felt this was the right time to make a change. I truly do appreciate everyone at Epic Records' support of my career and wish them all the best. Shortly after splitting with Epic, she would quickly sign a new deal with Universal Motown in preparation for her second album. In 2008, Cat would garner some negative media attention for her performance of the Star Spangled Banner. The performance was plagued with off-key singing and shaky vocals. It also didn't help that Cat forgot some of the lyrics and she was met with boos from the crowd, even landing the number one spot on Billboard's list for having the worst national anthem performance ever. Cat has since written this experience off as simply having a bad day and admits she never should have performed. Before the release of her second album, Cat would release many buzz singles, but her single Push Push alongside Akon brought her some attention to her career once again, and her music and career success would become more international, so much so that she signed a deal with Universal Belgium. She would eventually drop the song Party O'Clock, which caused a bit of media controversy with veteran act Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez was accused of blatantly ripping off Cat De Luna for her comeback single On The Floor. Both songs are produced and co-written by Red One, and On The Floor just kind of sounds like a more refined reworking of Party O'Clock. They both have the general theme of partying and dancing the night away. They also have eerily similar lyrics in certain parts of the song. Party in Ibiza, party in New York, all the way to Africa, love in the Caribbean, on my way to Vegas are lyrics in Party O'Clock, whereas Lopez sings the nearly identical line, Brazil, Morocco, London to Ibiza, straight to LA, New York, Vegas to Africa. Both songs eventually utilize a uniformed vocable hook over similar thumping electro-pop production. Jennifer Lopez and Cat De Luna actually traded words in the media over the similarities. When asked about the similarities, Cat said, that came out of nowhere, it was really weird. I had no idea what was going on at the time because I was overseas. I mean, sometimes when you worked with the same producers, things get mixed up. At that time, I wasn't working with anyone because I was doing my own thing. But I had previously recorded Party O'Clock with the same producer. But it's okay, things happen. My song ended up being a huge hit overseas. India loved it. And I found new producers that wanted to work with me, so it was great. The situation was kind of like, oh my God, we're wearing the same dress. She later said, I've seen this before where the more established artist tries to take the vision and artistic ideas away from an emerging artist and assumes no one will notice because of their bigger shadow. 
Luckily, my loyal fans and the power of the internet have let the cat out of the bag. Jennifer was asked about the similarities in the interview, and she said, what, really? I'm not aware of that. Following her uncomfortable response, the reporter continued to press her, telling her that the Luna is honored that Lopez would copy one of her songs. In response, JLo gave a forced chuckle and said, no, I didn't hear about it. However, it was alleged that Jennifer and her team specifically requested that the interviewer not ask or bring up the Cat de Luna situation. Cat would eventually express gratitude for Jennifer down the line. Nonetheless, On the Floor became a massive hit for Jennifer. While Party O'Clock achieved some success in Belgium, her second album released in 2010 titled Inside Out was only released exclusively to certain European and Asian territories failing to cement a follow-up to her debut album in the States. Kat's history with major labels appeared to be fraught, where the labels most likely didn't do the best job with handling her career. Kat would disappear from music after her second album and return with her third album, Loading, in 2016, which featured R&B stars Trey Songz and Jeremiah. Kat has continued to release singles throughout the years, with promises of new music coming soon.